everyone, welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin and I really really love this song and I hope very much I could do it justice with my version and that you like my version. If you did, please leave a like, it my, helps my channel to grow and uh, if you want to learn more songs with me, please check out song recommendations in the uh, description box under the video or in my playlist. There are hundreds of free videos waiting for you. Enjoy this one. Hello and welcome everybody. It's freezing cold in Berlin right now and I'm dreaming of California. But before we dream, let's have a look how we can make this piece sound nice and warm, basically. Left hand is the trick. Have a look at my left hand pattern. We go from A minor, G, F. G and you have seen two things already that you must pay attention to. A minor, you see the basic uh, is root, fifth and octave, yeah? Fifth is always, it's always the fifth, but look at this. Now in order to tie it nicely, even for smaller hands, to the G, we anticipate the fifth of the next chord. So it's A minor, G, 
and to F we take the fifth of F. So this way you can you can use pedal of course. I did two, but and it's more flowing. And you saw another little thing. What is Christian doing with his thumb? You don't want to know what I usually do with my thumb, but in this tutorial I show you what I do here. Look at this fifth octave, but now look at the G. No, the G is also octave, but now F, fifth, and the ninth, and the next G. And this makes a lot of diff uh, a, 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 a lot of difference. Yeah, what a difference a day makes, but what a difference the ninth makes. If I play F, can you tell? It's a beautiful sound. So just pay attention when you look at the slow replay that is coming after my lesson. Um, just pay attention to my thumb, okay? Then we go to the, uh, we play it all together. Ninth. And here you have something else. Now look at the right hand. Here, you have that a couple of times. Yeah, you have to practice this a little bit. And then the, the piece is yours. You're, you're literally already in California. And so. E now with the seven. With the ninth. Okay, so right hand is not that hard. Left hand, pay a little bit of attention. And now comes the beautiful, this beautiful modulation, huh? like. And here we go up and we go down now we go down e7 octave and here's the one off when it comes back one once or twice it's the it's the tenth yeah it's I should use it more often it's a very beautiful sound I try to spare it you most of the time but sometimes we use it. Why is it so great to have the 10th in the left hand? Because it's already covering the tonality, like the, uh, the um, major or minor. So now we have root, fifth, and, thir uh, and th major third already. That's why this is such a great company pattern. But, uh, I use it occasionally because uh, some of you might think, well, I can. how can I get from here to here? Well, you can take subway, but you can also let go of the fifth finger and just use a little pedal. Pedal down, and you see? Huh. Huh. And you just do it like this. And then it's not that hard anymore, and you have a superior sound. And... On. Uh, yes, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one. So you see, occasionally I do, I accompany, I complement the right hand with a little bit of in between. You can do it here because it's not so much to do in the right hand. That's why you can do a little bit of um, uh, uh, nice sounding. A little bit more advanced stuff in the left hand. And the same here. here. Same thing. We know this slip note technique from my Floyd Kramer tutorial on slip notes. Here. Where it's happening all the time. Here. Same again. Ninth and then repeats and it repeats repeats and and there we go it goes already in it's a beautiful piece I really like this uh, this tight singing the tight um, arrangements for the singers of these uh, four uh, mamas and the papas to mamas to papas. Um, where was I? And 
a second verse. Now comes. Now we do something. We have to we put the choir bits here and the solo singer. That's when he steps on stage. Watch the video. Then is coming the lead singer and he's. Uh, they, you have the the three mamas and papas, uh, or. I was just about to say non-binaries, but uh, to, to sound more modern. Okay, the three, and then he's stepping forward and he's uh, taking over the lead. So, um, ba, 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 ba. and now that we uh, we uh, express it by by going up here and choir and up lead singer, and here we have this a blue note. We love that on a channel with so many blues tutorials. And and I told you, practice these ones. And it goes on. It's just that uh, put the left hand and the right hand, you know, choir, solo, choir, solo. In the second verse. Here again, but I'll be in time. And off we go. Now, sorry, sorry. And here comes the solo. He comes a solo that is usually be played by a flute. But who? Who wants to play flute? I mean, I hope there's nobody uh, playing flute amongst you. Like, uh, 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 what's the word? Whatever. Insulting me in the comment section. But come on, flute. When we were kids, we could learn like the recorder, the flute. You know, there's a traverse flute, like this one you put on your mouth like, I cannot show it right here, but we, we had to learn, or many of us were learning recorder, the basic flute. And what, what could you do with the recorder? Play blues? Try that. Try play blues with the recorder. You will fail. It would sound like, um, if you play heavy metal on a triangle just doesn't work. Okay, but here we have this the flute solo and we play it on the piano, of course. One and two and three and four and one and two. And this is quite easy. Why am I teaching this to you? And two and three and four and one and... And... Yes, the chords change a little bit in the flute solo. A minor, beautiful, yeah. And left hand moves. You're bored, huh? You're bored, I can tell. You don't want me to teach this to you because you, you know it already. Um, oh, I'm lost, I'm lost. Oh, I'm lost in space, I'm lost on my iPad. Uh, ah, yeah. And here we have, yes, we have a, a couple of more blue notes. How wonderful is that? Uh. But here, here we have the only in the whole in the entire piece we have the only rhythmic shift. Yeah, L L right hand. But you will see, it's, it's, it's still totally easy. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and again one and two and three and four and one and two so there is a little bit of shift in this pattern but hey you've been with my channel for how many years now 50 years you know all about this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Ba, 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 ba. And it goes on and now the, it's leisure time. It's leisure time. You can uh, 
drink tea. Why doing it? Because it's the repetition of the first verse. Uh, and I created this little outro. It has become a little bit more balladesque, ballad, ballad like. Uh, but I, I, I left it like this. I could have played it a little bit faster, but I kind of like it. It has become, it has something different. It's not like all the leaves are green. Da, 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 da. It's a little bit more winter like, like winter in California. Do they have snow in California in winter? It has, it's a mixture of California and, um, and German uh, melancholia, which is my part in it. So it's um, California Berlin dreaming. It's a mix. I hope you enjoyed it. Now comes a slow replay. Um, buy the sheet music. Make me rich. Make me uh, able to pull my heating up to five that I have uh, warm fingers here. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon.